Top speed, Hayabusa time. Street tire motorcycle drag racing fanatics, welcome. In this video, I promise you, we're gonna show you high horsepower, 200 mile an hour, no wheelie bar, DOT, street legal tire action. Welcome to the UK, welcome to London. I told you, Cycle Drag will travel the globe far and wide to bring you the best of the best. And today, we bring you action from famous Santa Pod Raceway. Wanna thank the whole crew over there for inviting Cycle Drag to come over and cover this prestigious event. It was great to meet all the riders and all the teams. What do you think? You ready to rock? Yeah! Beautiful to see Cycle Drag Racing go Santa Pod. Thank you. Nice. Humbling to see the individuals that know about Cycle Drag even over in the UK. Thank you guys. Let's keep this thing growing. Let's get started with Super Street Bike presented by FIM Europe. This is round number one of qualifying. We'll see a healthy mix of Kawasaki's and Suzuki's. The only thing that's very unique and different from American racing is we don't see the 14, we see the ZX12. This is the 12 of Dave Thomas out of the UK. He spins the tire. Hayabusa right hand lane looking for a six second run. Top end 771, 191 miles an hour. That brings up our next pair. Knut Moller out of Germany there on the Super Street Bike 131 Hayabusa that you're taking a good look at. He will oppose Margaret Schmidt out of the Netherlands on this 79 Hayabusa. What can you say about the Hayabusa tooth? If you love the Hayabusa, express your love in the comments. This machine's been out since 1999. It is legendary. We'll give you a good close look here in opening qualifying from the FIA FIM European Drag Racing Finals from Santa Pod. Hope you're enjoying every single minute of it. Super Street Bike, a class very similar to Pro Street as we know it in the United States. There are some differences. In this category, you are allowed a full custom chassis, where in the United States, you have to use the stock front cradle. That's one of the ways it differs, but no wheelbase advantages for different rider weights. All these riders are locked in at 68 inches, just like the old day. Looks like we're clean and green. We're ready to go. Here you go, street bike fanatics. Too fast, Suzuki Hayabusa. Look at this packed house turnout for day number one of the Santa Pod Finals. This is a must attend race if you've never been here. Nice pass out there for Margaret, top end of the racetrack. Ah, clicks it off to a 762. Problems for Kanat. Good news for Kanat is it's only qualifying session number one. Plenty of time to tune it up. That brings us to our next pair of competitors, another ZX12. Now this is interesting to me. Somebody will have to answer in the comments why we're not seeing any ZX14s. The 12 was a beautiful motorcycle. Blasting off here. Doe out of the UK, near lane. Problems for the ZX12. Top end of the racetrack. 760, but anyhow, the 12 was a beautiful motorcycle. It was the predecessor of the 14, produced from 2000 to 2006. Came with about 178 horsepower from the factory. But not sure why the European racers still favor the ZX12. I love it. Brings me back to those old memories if you remember Ricky Gadsden and Rob Muzzy campaigning one in the AMA Pro Star days. Really doing a great job. Here's Rick Steubens now on the Hayabusa as he gets set to take on great friends, Mark Hope, who's made to all the events this year. Hayabusa, the weapon of choice for so many of these racers. Parts readily available, a lot of knowledge in R&D. 752, 179 miles an hour. You know, I know one reason why the American racers are not big on the ZX-14 is because the cylinders do not separate from the engine block, the engine cases, and that's something that traditional drag racers who've run the KZ, the GS, other bikes do not enjoy. Here comes Yannick Ricard, he's got the B-King style bike, no front fairing. He comes from France, made three events this year. As he gets set to take on Daniel Donat Lenz, he's out of Hungary. Daniel has been in the sixes, top end of the racetrack. 
Daniel 710, there it is guys, 201 miles an hour. Daniel Donat Lenches from Hungary, he puts a 710 on the board. He's number one right now. Wow, keep an eye on that Busa. He has been in the six second zone. 200 miles an hour, I wanna know in the comments, would you do this, honestly? 200 miles an hour, no wheelie bar, street tire. As we bring up the next pair, couple more ZX-12s, you got it. Graham Balchin out of Great Britain. Eric Gruber out of Austria. Graham's actually got the quickest ZX-12 in the field. He's been a 701, that's very impressive. Looking for a six second pass here, top end of the racetrack. How about 831, 137 miles an hour, left hand lane, 793. Conditions difficult here in opening qualifying. Stay with us on the Cycle Drag YouTube channel. We'll bring you all the sessions and see if they can pick it up. But you can hear the wind whistling. That's not helping them. It's cooler. And here comes the big green tractor. Jason Aldean would appreciate that one. Not for good reason though. That means we got a little bit of cleanup on the track. The Santa Pod crew is right on top of it, making sure there is ample traction for these FIME motorcycles. I'll let you in on a little inside ball game too. I talked to Keith Bartlett of Santa Pod Raceway, a man who really put drag racing on the map over here. He's interesting, interested in having a World Cup. of Santa Pod would like to bring over the American racers, the Australian racers, and have a World Cup Pro Street Race. How cool would that be? As we next bring up the NLR Turbo of Gary Bo. Problems for Gary Bo. Stephen Mead out of the UK rides the 56, top end of the racetrack. Not a good run for either competitor here in opening qualifying. And here comes Mogens Lund. He's the category's only Danish rider. And if you're an old school NHRA Pro Stock motorcycle fan, you see that Sunoco, you like me? I know who you think of. Of course, the Sunoco on a Hayabusa reminds you of the late, great Dave Schultz. Steve Venables on the DME Suzuki Hayabusa coming off the win. It's been a big year for him. He's the point leader. He's the record holder at a 685-212 coming into this event. Venables looking for more, 68 inches, one of the heavier riders, 731, 199, just misses 200 miles an hour. That was merely a tune-up for Steve Venables. So much more coming. Hey, we've even got junior drag bikes. How great is this? Bringing along the next generation. Something pretty cool that Europe's doing that in my opinion, NHRA, IHRA are missing out on. These are the racers of tomorrow racing to the eighth mile. If you like what you see, make sure you check out our entire full length junior drag bike feature on the Cycle Drag YouTube page posted last week. Can't miss it. And in the meantime, we'll be back with more super street bike action. That was only Q1. Will we see sixes? Will we see more 200 mile an hour passes? And we have questions for you in the comments. We want to know why we see the ZX-12s and not the 14s. And we also want to know, would you be crazy enough to try this? Thanks so much for subscribing to Cycle Drag on YouTube, liking CycleDrag.com on Facebook. Much more street tire Hayabusa ZX-12 turbo nitrous action coming your way. Gotta love it. Thanks for sticking around on this channel.